In this video, we're going to learn about Python class and instance object types. So programs with user-defined classes can contain two types of objects. There's the class object. This is the user-defined class, which is used to create instance objects. For example, if you created a class called car, you can create multiple instances of that car class, and those instances are the instance objects. So if you had two cars in your garage, that car class would be used to create two objects, one for each car in your garage. An instance object is just an instance of the class object. So, if, for example, going back to that car class example, if you saw a parking lot with 20 cars in it, that's 20 instances of that car class, so 20 objects of type car. There can also be two types of attributes. A class attribute, which is shared by all instances of the class, an example of a class attribute is imagine there was a, a bank account class and every single, you know, a lot of different people had bank account objects. And, and let's say that the bank account wanted to change the interest rate for everybody. So rather than changing the interest rate for each separate person's account, by using a class attribute, they can just change that one variable for the interest rate and it'll affect all instances of the class at once. Whereas an instance attribute is unique to each class instance. For example, if you had the car class and you had a car object and that car was blue, and then you had and then you painted that car white, it's not going to change the color of all the other cars to white. It's only going to change that one car's color to white. So instance op instance attributes are a lot more common in classes, but once in a while you may see a class attribute just remember that it's global or shared by all instances of the class. So let's take a look at an example of creating a class with some um, instance objects. And I'll also show you guys an example of class attributes and instance attributes. So here in this Python example, we, again, we have our person class, which has a constructor that sets the attributes name, age, and weight to some default values. And we have a person, we have a print person instance method, which a person object can call and print out the information for that person, the name, age, and weight. And down, down here in our main method, we set person one as a person object, set the name, age, and weight data, and then print the person out. And if we had a second person, let's create a person two and And we had a different weight for that person, 193.423, and say Jennifer Lopez. She's not really 23, she's like 83. She looks 23. And we can run this program out and it'll print Jennifer Lopez's data. and. And notice that these fields, name, age, and weight, these are instance attributes. So each object of this person class, person one and person two, has its own name, its own separate age, and its own separate weight. But we can also create a class attribute, which is a variable that belongs to all objects of the person class. Let's just create a variable that all humans have in common, like number of eyes two okay so now if we were to print out let's just do this print person one dot number of eyes and run that program we see Kanye West has two eyeballs great and person two dot number of eyes Jennifer Lopez also has two eyeballs so since both Kanye and Jennifer Lopez are both separate person objects. They both share that same class attribute called number of eyes, and that's value is two. Also, when you are defining a class, that person class is the class object, and all these objects, person one, person two, or, or so on, or whatever you name it, these are the instance objects in your Python program. 